changing. Deepak Chopra is a medical doctor, a thought leader, and a New York Times best-selling author who has written almost 90 books. That's all, Lori? What a slacker he <laughs> right. is. His newest book is called Meta Human, Unleashing Your Infinite Potential. It's out today. Deepak Chopra, always great to have you here on Good Day New York. Thank you for having me. So Meta Human, what, what does that mean exactly? See, meta means beyond, mm -hmm. and human in this case means beyond the conditioned mind because what we call the mind is just recycling everybody else's thoughts. It's, uh, if you observe your thoughts, you'll see you don't have any original thoughts there. <laughs> All We're not reinventing the wheel. Recycling through social media, news, collective stories. They've created an insane world. War, terrorism, destruction, extinction of species, poison in the food chain, mechanized death, drones, uh, internet hacking. It's insanity. We have to go beyond that to a meta reality, which is infinite and beyond the conditioned mind. That's so, what the book is about. How do we achieve that? When we're born, are we born with a blank slate? No, we have certain propensities, like we have the ability to walk and talk and speech and language. It's all there. but. Besides that, it is a blank set. And as soon as you're born, you're given an identity. You're African-American, you're black, you're American, you're female, this is your gender, this is your religion. But does that form your opinions of life, your experiences It, it becomes of life? what we call the social mind, and we experience reality through the filter of that. So we don't know that behind that, you know, they say every child that is born is proof that God has not yet given up on human beings because there's an inner genius in every human being which is the ultimate and supreme intelligence that mirrors the wisdom of the universe. But we are not in touch with that because all we do is see through the conditioned mind. So in the book, you help us get back well, get to back. what is called source, yes. the presence of being or spirit in which, which you, every experience happens. So basically you say we need to get back in touch with our five senses, correct? And go beyond them because our five senses are a very limited band of experience in an infinite range of experiences. Mm. When you communicate with your dog or a cat or anything other embodied beings, it changes your experience of reality. So in the book, you talk about uh, exercises yes, to do. Yes, 31 of them. Yes. So Lori and oh, I decided yes. we will get in touch with one of them. Right. Now, in the book, you actually say, yep. you know, shut the lights off and, and, and see what it's like. So can are you going to help shut, us through this? Sure. Will you guide us a little okay. bit if we okay. put on our okay. blindfolds do, a little bit? Do okay. that. So, okay. Right now, what you're experiencing mm -hmm. is existence without the perceptual activity which we call seeing. So all you're experiencing right now is sound, right? right. My voice. I can hear you. Mm -hmm. And you're experiencing the faint sound of the air conditioner. Right. Now change your awareness into sensations in the body. That becomes your experience. So Whatever you put your channel that. Yes, okay. and so all we really experience is sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, perceptions, which we then call mind, body, and universe. Now, who is that which is having this experience? You say, I. Where is I? It's not in the body mind. The body mind is an experience of I that I is having right now. Now, take your this off. Take the blindfold take, off, okay. And suddenly the world is much brighter, isn't it? It sure oh, is. Oh, yes. Right? Sure is. So just yeah. by, this is an instrument of observation. It's not who you are. So um, there are plenty of exercises to do in the book because if you, you want people to, well, interact. Get a glimpse of fundamental reality, not mm -hmm. this perceptual reality which we call the world. Or even this body. Your body is not the source of experience. It's an experience that you are having. How do you know you have a body? In the same way as you know that there's a flower in front of you. It's a perceptual activity. You know you, I am, right? That's Correct. Right? I am is the fundamental truth before I am Deepak Chopra. And how much does science play in, in this at all? Science is an activity in human consciousness. So science is a product, it's a system
of thought, but ultimately, no system of thought can give you a clue to who you are. It's just a map. It's not the territory. Who you really are is a being having experience that we call mind, body, universe. Can you make yourself a different being than you're meant to be? You can make yourself a different person, but you're always the same being. You say, I was a baby, I was a child, I was a toddler. So which one is the real you? Your body-mind is a changing experience in who you are. Hmm. And that can only be done by going beyond all systems of thought, including science. Because systems of thought are limited. What's the source of thought? Mm. Nobody asked that question. And that's what the purpose of yoga is and meditation is, ah. to go to the source of thought, which is the source of all experience, including perceptions, images, feelings, thoughts, insight, intuition, creativity, higher vision, transcendence, <laughs> love, goodness, Jeez. truth, it's a fascinating beauty, book. It really and is. loss it's, of the fear of death. It's a beautiful spiritual adjustment. And, and we can get to meet Deepak Chopra tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, there's a book launch, Talk and Signing. United Palace, Correct. 4140 Broadway, in Washington, Washington Heights. Heights. That's right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you Always so much. Always great to have you.